Good morning, my friends. Today, it's another sunny day, which means it's really cold outside. <clears throat> it um, Yesterday was a pretty weird day. Uh, unfortunately, did not have time to do another Mornings with Wasik segment. Um, it was uh, it was a day I took a personal day, uh, had some time with family, and then uh, you know my boss told me I had to come into work early so I couldn't go back to my apartment in time, so I had to go straight to work. And uh, but luckily uh, yesterday was a holiday, so I got to get paid double uh, than normal. So that was uh, that was pretty good. I didn't even realize that when I was working. So. After hearing about that, after I got off my shift, it was a nice little surprise there. <sighs> have to say, um, overall, I'm pretty happy with my work. I think I might be getting some new hours um, put in, so some more hours, so I'll be able to actually... Um, Get a little bit more money, not be as stressed out as much as I have been. So overall, that's all fine and dandy. Um, so I'm going to go through uh, a little bit more of my suggestions from a few weeks ago that I haven't done yet. And one of them was for someone for me to talk about coffee. Um, not really sure what else to talk about in terms of coffee. Um, I'm actually not even drinking coffee at the moment. This is a uh, whole food supplement that I got at the pharmacy. I've been drinking this for about a month now. Um, it's supposed to last for a month if you use the full spoon, but I don't really use the full spoon. I sometimes just use like a little bit just to sort of save it uh, over time, not take too much at a time. You don't want to um, you know, wait because sometimes your body just doesn't have that capability of uh, absorbing all those nutrients at once. So it's good to sort of do it in a little bit of an increments and you sort of stretch it out over a long period of time. But in terms of coffee, um, I've been trying to quit coffee. Although when I was away with family, I had coffee every morning because it's, you know, I like the, the experience of whenever I have um, a nice breakfast, which is usually what happens when I'm with family, you know, my mom will make a breakfast or we'll go out to eat somewhere with the whole family. And to me, whenever I have that experience of having a breakfast, I tend to have a cup of coffee. So unfortunately, throughout the whole day, I was drinking coffee pretty much every, pretty much every day during the holidays. So it's, um, you know, I very much like the taste of coffee. I drink coffee black. Um, I find it also enhances the taste of some foods. Uh, most specifically, if I'm eating something sweet, uh, something a little bit uh, like chocolatey or some sort of dessert in that realm at work, sometimes I'll have one of the Nutella crepes. And I'll have a little bit of a espresso shot with that. It sort of gives it a nice palatable experience. You have the bitter and the sweet sort of combined in a nice way, which I um, genu genu generally enjoy. So, um, but unfortunately, the thing with coffee that really bothers me is if for some reason one day I don't drink coffee, I have those withdrawal symptoms, which uh, are pretty annoying to deal with you know you get a bad headache you feel sort of groggy and it lasts for a couple days and that was the main reason why I quit caffeine uh, was because I didn't want to feel that way anymore I didn't want to experience that sort of uh, drawn out withdrawal symptom that is prevalent with anyone who would ever quit coffee um, which sucks because I really enjoy coffee but I don't want to be attached to it in that way and you know obviously you can drink decaf coffee but it obviously doesn't taste the same it's sort of like a lesser quality it's sort of like drinking non-alcoholic beer or it's not like it's exactly like that it just doesn't have the same taste you're not getting the same experience 
And there are times when I actually enjoy that, you know, caffeine rush. The funny thing is, is that caffeine doesn't really affect me that much. Um, it helps me sometimes when, let's say, I wake up early in the morning for whatever reason. I have to go traveling. I have a flight to catch or whatever. And having a nice cup of coffee there really helps to sort of just get me going throughout the day. It doesn't make me feel better, uh, you know. I should just mention that off the bat. It's just it's sort of like, it just sort of pushes me to where I cannot uh, just feel like shit throughout the whole day and I can just sort of get through everything that I need to get done. Which I think is the main importance of coffee, uh, especially in our Western world, our very busy schedules that we keep. Um, there are some people that are way more addicted to coffee than I am. Um, I, when I was at the peak of my coffee drinking, I would drink only one cup of coffee a day, and that was in the morning when I wake up, and that's it. I don't really need it for anything else, but I know some people drink coffee throughout the whole day, but they can drink it at night before they go to bed, which uh, I would never do. I've done that before. Um, I've even just had a Coca-Cola, you know, which has a, a, sm a much smaller amount of uh, caffeine than a cup of coffee does, and that keeps me up, you know, for several hours. Uh, it's very annoying because I'm just sitting in bed and I'm like feeling my heart rate go up and I just can't sleep. And it doesn't even mean that I'm not even tired. I'm still tired. I'm just, you know, energized at the same time which is a very, very annoying feeling if you've ever experienced that, especially if you've ever been sleep deprived. Uh, especially for me, I have had insomnia uh, drinking coffee, thinking that it's like, okay, I'm just gonna like push through this. Um, is probably the worst decision because now you're feeling like shit and you wanna sleep, but then you have this like weird energy that sort of like it feels like your soul is being stretched, so to speak. It's a very uncomfortable feeling. But um, I know there's supposed to be uh, some good uh, health effects from coffee. Especially, I guess, if coffee is uh, of higher quality than normal coffees. Um, but... You know, I think everyone's different, so it doesn't really matter what um, what the general consensus is. People, the coffee's going to affect people differently depending on who you are. Overall, though, I really like the taste. It's one of the main reasons why I would ever drink it or I continue to drink it. Um, and, but the main reason why I'm quitting is just because I don't like the withdrawal of caffeine and I don't like being addicted to anything in that physical sense, just in case I'm in a situation where I can't drink coffee, I don't want to feel like shit throughout the whole ordeal because there's no coffee available for me, which I don't think will happen uh, often. Coffee is a pretty, uh, pretty available commodity. I don't think there's anywhere in the world where it would be hard to find coffee, but whatever, you never know, right? Anyway, that's all I really have to say on the subject. There's not really much to say about coffee other than that it's the staple of the American morning beverage. And, um, you know, it's a great drink. Unfortunately, it's not something I can keep up with. So anyway, that's all I have to say. And I hope you have a wonderful day.